Uh, he has to give dawah. Everybody has to give dawah. We need to give dawah to non-Muslims and we need to give dawah to Muslims. Some people think, oh, the Bleak Jamaat only give dawah to Muslims. This is not dawah. No, Muslims need dawah as well. In fact, Muslims need more dawah than kuffar. And you know what the dalil is? Before every azan, what do we do? Before every salat, we give azan, huh? Azan, five times a day. And what do we say after Adhan? Allahumma rabba hadhihi dawah al bid'a naqisa. Allahumma rabba hadhihi dawah. Attama, perfect dawah. Perfect dawah. For who? When you give Adhan, who's going to come to Muslim? Mr. Jones, who's going to come to the masjid? Mr. Jones, Mr. Smith, Mr. Peters, who's going to come to the masjid? The Muslim. The Muslim is going to come to the masjid. Why? Which Muslim? The Muslim from the pub is going to come here? The Muslim even who prays, even he needs dawah. The man might be just sitting at home with wudu, waiting for adhan. He needs dawah as well to come to the masjid. He needs, you might be in the masjid still, you need to hear the adhan. Uh, you need dawah as well. Every Muslim needs dawah. So if Muslims need dawah, how many times a day? Five times a day. Muslims need dawah five times a day. Uh, some people say, oh brother, don't give Muslims dawah. This is bida. Who says it's bida? It's, it's Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, this is perfect dawah. Dawah for Muslims. Muslims need dawah. Kufar need dawah. Everybody needs dawah. And everybody needs to do dawah. Qul hadhi sabili ad'u ilallahi ala basiratin ana wa man ittaba'ani. Me and every one of my followers. Ana wal ulama. Ana wal Arab. Ana wa Somaliyin. Ana wa Pakistaniyin. No. Ana wa manittaba'ani. Whoever is a Muslim, he needs to do dawah. You need to do dawah. You need to dawah to Muslims and to kuffar as well and whosoever. But when we look around, we see, we see, subhanallah, our own Muslim brethren are so weak. Uh, many people don't even come to masjid. Many can't even pray. Many don't even know the basics. In the time of Sahaba Ridwanullah Ali Majmaeen, uh, there wasn't a single Muslim who did not used to pray. Every Muslim used to pray. Every Muslim used to recite some Quran. Every Muslim was good. Uh, but now we see, subhanallah, our own Muslim brothers are so far away. Just like when people join the army. You know what they do first? A person who joins the army, do they send him in the front line the first day? First day he goes to the front line? No, first he needs training, he needs to be taught things, he needs, he needs to be taught how to hold the gun, how to, how to put it and do all things, training to give him the strength and so on. Similarly, Muslims need to build their iman, their akhlaq, they need to learn Quran as well, and at the same time do dawah. So when people go like this in groups, in groups you go to the masjid, and mashallah, you stay there, you visit Muslims. Masha, it's like mutual training. And you learn to give dawah from Muslims. Your, your dawah improves, your iman becomes strong. Then just like a soldier, when he's learned and he's passed the training, then he's ready to go on the front line. So Allahu Akbar. Similarly, mashallah, you learn by mistakes and by through other people as well in, in supervision of some Older workers, other brothers, mashallah, you perfect your dawah. As you get better and better, mashallah, you extend your dawah to your friends, to your family, to your neighborhood, and everywhere, mashallah. There is so much work to be done. So much work. Allah is not going to send any more prophets. And no one is perfect. We don't say, when you go with Jamaat the belief, you will become an angel or a prophet. Na'udhu billah, no. Rasulullah is the last prophet. No more prophet to come. There is goodness in every brother, and there are, because we are humans, uh, we are weak as well. They're, no one is perfect. The last perfect soul was none other than Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But when these brothers, when they go in groups, for example, and they and they make form a jama'ah, they go to a place and they learn and they make dawah, they make jawla, they are learning. They go with the intention of learning. Uh, and a student, even if he makes mistakes, you don't, you know, you don't reprimand them. And, just because someone got an answer wrong, he is not thrown out of the college or university for getting an answer wrong. He does it again, and he does it again until he learns. And no one is perfect. And we are all learners. And the last perfect soul was none other than Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this effort of dawah is a very blessed dawah.
is a very blessed amal. And may Allah enable us all to take part.